this video we'll quickly we'll go over connected alignments and using them in your design. A connected alignment is exactly what it sounds like. It is an alignment that connects any other two alignments, both horizontally and vertically. It creates a dynamic connection between the two. A quick tour of what we have in this drawing is we have a surface representing topographic survey, an alignment and an associated corridor for a primary road, an alignment along an existing edge of travelway, and we have offset alignments for the left and right edge of travelway along our corridor, as you can see here. We're going to do a connected alignments to the edges of the travelway to this existing edge of pavement for the curb returns. I will select an alignment and on the contextual ribbon you now have connected alignments. I'll choose it, choose my second alignment, choose the quadrant I want to do the return in. It'll give you an indicator letting you see what it's going to do. I'm going to hit the enter key to open the dialog box. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it left return ETW. I'm going to leave all of this alone for my styles. You can change it as necessary for yours. But under parameters, <coughs> you're able to choose the curve type. I'm going to do circular with a 25 foot radius. And I want the offset to be zero in my case. The overlap is the distance beyond the point of curvature and point of tangency that it will run up the alignments you're joining. So I'm going to leave mine at 25 and I'm going to click preview. And you can see what it's going to do. And I'm going to hit OK. And you can see it made that alignment. We'll do it one more time for the south one. Looks like I got more than one thing selected. Alignment. Connected alignment. Choose the second alignment. Choose the quadrant. All of my settings should have held from last time. And it did. So I'll give it a name. Call it right. Return. Edge travel way and hit OK. And you can see it made that. Now these are dynamically linked so if I grab this alignment and I move this PI around you can see that it is dynamically keeping that 25 foot radius between the two alignments that I have. It also created a dynamic connection vertically so if I come over here and I create a profile view real fast along one of those edges of travel way. And just drop it over here. You can see this is the profile. If I select it, you can see these triangle grips are the connections uh, for the run out run outs that we have. So from here to here is 25 feet, from here to here is 25 feet. And I can edit this profile in any way that I want along the uh, return. So if I wanted to put a high point or a low point, I would be able to do that. Using connected alignments to connect any two other alignments allows you to have that dynamic connection and opens up another world of modeling that you can do to make more accurate roadway models for your design projects. In a future video, we will take these connected alignments and we'll show you how to utilize them for roadway modeling.